Hey guys, it's Hector here with a few more terms for the Otaku Encyclopedia. And for this video, I didn't want to make five really short videos, so I decided to combine five different terms into one big video, and I'm going to be listing the five main types of anime and manga. They're basically demographic groups, or they're types of anime and manga that are geared towards those demographic groups, I should say. So let's go through them. First, there's Kodomo Muke. Something like that. I probably am not pronouncing this one too well. It's basically, well, the whole word means for children. So it's anime and manga specifically aimed at children. And so usually, usually the stories aren't really episodic, and they're really short, and they have good morals for the children, you know, so they can grow up to have good morals, basically. And sometimes they can be cutesy, like Hello Kitty, or they can be more adventurous, like Doraemon, or even like Pokemon, but Pokemon sort of starts going into the older age groups because these, it's usually, you know, geared towards children, but children into their preteens, so there's a bit of a kind of a blurred lines once you go into preteens into the older categories. So let's talk about the older, older categories next. First is Shonen, and this is usually geared towards male teenagers, usually, or at least at first, but of course times change so things kind of change. This is usually anime and manga with a male lead part or main character, and of course there's usually female characters in there, but oftentimes they just are there, well not just, but they have a lot of fan service with the female characters. So usually these types of anime and manga have a lot of action and sometimes comedy and stuff like that but you know as I said over the years times have kind of changed and they have a wider variety of genres and, and even different um, main characters it's not always just male main characters anymore but that was what it was mainly associated with so I'd say this category is the most mainstream like the most common shonen anime and manga are like Dragon Ball Inuyasha, Attack on Titan, Full Metal Alchemist, um, Naruto, Bleach, One Piece. So those are really, really mainstream, and those are all considered shonen anime and manga. And kind of the female counterpart is shoujo anime and manga. And, you know, it's usually geared towards teenage women, but it's usually... The anime and manga that are considered shoujo usually have more romantic stories or slice of life, life stories. And, um, well, generally they have female main characters or a whole cast of female characters. But again, over the years, times kind of change and sometimes you'll see some male characters or different genres, not just romance. And But I should say even back in the day when it was mostly, you know, female romance and all that stuff like that, they would still have male characters, but those male characters would usually be in homoerotic types of love stories. Common shoujo anime and manga would be like Lovely Complex, Clannad, Sailor Moon, and Card Captor Sakura or Sakura, however you want to pronounce it, whatever. And then as we get into the older demographics, first there's Seinen, which is usually geared towards adult males, well, 15 and older. For the manga, it's usually for people who can read a lot more kanji. But um, it's pretty much like um, shonen, but it has a lot more violence and a lot more adult language. So it's, you know, geared more for adults. And it has more serious storylines, I guess you can say. So it's not exactly like shonen. It's sort of like shonen, but more adult style, I guess. And it can cover a lot of um, genres and different storylines and all that stuff. Common um, anime and manga for seinen is Akira, Battle Royale, Ghost in the Shell, and I don't know if... There's, there's just a bunch out of there. Those are just a few notable examples. And then the female counterpart for adult styled anime and manga is Jose. And again, it's sort of like the teenage version, which is shoujo, so it has kind of romance and slice of life, but again, it's more mature, so you'll see more realistic storylines. You won't see the 
glamorized romance. It's more, well, mature and stuff. And again, there could be more, um, a little more violence and a little more adult language. But I should note that it doesn't get too adult. It doesn't get overly adult like you might see in Dojinshi, which I explained in last week's video. That stuff can get highly erotic and very, very violent and stuff like that. So these get, you know, published in more professional circles, I guess you can say, the bigger industry. So they have to keep things within guidelines, so it doesn't get too bad. And notable examples of Jose anime and manga include Nana, Loveless, and Honey and Clover. And those are pretty much the five main demographic groups of anime and manga. So they basically had a certain meaning back in the day, but over time it's the lines have kind of blurred a bit, you know, there's a lot more variety, but still people, the creators, still categorize, categorize their anime and manga into these five groups. So I hope this video was helpful, and if you liked it or appreciated it, you can give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more Japanese related videos, you can always subscribe to my channel because I will be doing more Japanese related product reviews, vlogs, and even terms like this to help people understand all these different terms and words and all the stuff so you don't go all crazy.